Pilapil, and I wish you all a pleasant day. Pilar and Friends, the title of the show, is a collaborative effort of friends who have gotten together online as the times call for. We seem to have the same prodding to come up with an online program which would bring important information to you. We have come up with a mix of topics which are current and relatable, but most of all, we want all of you to be safe and full of hope. All this is possible with our Almighty God. As the Word of God says in Isaiah 40, 31, For those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Thus, our first episode says it all, from the very people who made it take shape. Let me introduce to you the team who make up Pilar and Friends and have committed to pull this program throughout all the challenges we faced. Our production manager, Caroline Balister. Thank you, Ms. Pilar, and to all of those who are watching us right now in our very first episode of Pilar and Friends, Maayong Adlaw. We actually thought of coming up with a talk show that will help all of us navigate in this new norm. Our world has drastically changed in the last six months. But let's not forget that though the world has changed, our God remains the same. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And when there is God, there is hope. So if you have issues plaguing your mind, like, if I go out there, will I be safe? What about my livelihood? What about the education of my children? We will be tackling those issues in Pilar and Friends and many other relatable issues. Now earlier, Miss Pilar gave you a beautiful verse of scripture about hope. I'd like to give you one that talks about our attitude in this new norm. And it's found in Romans 12, 12. And it goes, let us be rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. We'll see you again next week and every Sunday thereafter. And to you, Ms. Pilar, thank you so much for your trust. Thank you too, Carol. We know it's not easy to weave up a show. How much more with all the restrictions nowadays? But there's always a way around difficult situations when you let go and let God. Plus, God sends us the very people to make up the team. I am happy that Jen, Alex, Stella, Marla, and of course, Carol, have found the time to be with us. Meet Jen Murillo. Thank you, Tita P. Wow, we are finally doing this. This started with just a tiny idea that has snowballed, and now we are reaching out with a message of hope. You see, with the pandemic going on, a lot of us are so helpless and hopeless that we don't know what to do. Well, the good news is that there is hope. We want you to know that there is hope. As you watch every episode of Pilar and Friends, you will know more about it. So please click subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Now, this is Alex and Christine. Hi all, yes, I'm Alex and Technical Director for Pilar and Friends. Also, overall male opinion and a baby brother. Now this, this is exciting. When we thought of this, we thought of you guys, of what topic would be how best to keep your attention. Now this was my idea. Nothing too long and not too short. That sort of thing. You know, I'm saying, let's consider the attention span it is short, right? So, this here, every week, each Sunday, will be compact. For you, for the fam, and friends. So, share away. Oh, hope? Okay, it's a big promise. But, I hang on to this promise. And this for me is what hope is all about. Thank you, Alex, for your big help. 
You're such a gem, dear. Now, friends, let me introduce Marla Bantila. Miss B, thank you. This is the leading of the Lord for us. I know that His purposes will be met because everything just fell into place. I love it. And this is certainly the beginning of more assignments for us from the source of all our strength. Therefore, let's continue to hope because hope is stronger than fear. Now, meet Stella Monteno. She is a writer and director, one of the founding sisters of Pilar Pilapi Productions and Performing Arts Academy. Thank you to the gorgeous one, Miss Pilar Pilapil, for choosing us to work with you in this project. You know the challenges are enormous and that with all this that's going on right now, the difficulty of moving around and all that, but we believe firmly in the guidance of God. We know that He will sustain us and we are also very eager to share with our audience the important information which should inspire them and help them. So, we must remain hopeful and with that hope is our uh, drive to strive for excellence. So, let's remain hopeful. There's so much to be thankful for every day. There's so much to, to be hopeful about. Every day is a, is a miraculous thing. The moment you wake up, it's a miracle. And you have that 24 hours, all yours, given by God. So let's make use of it. Don't forget to store hope in your heart. Okay? Let's not forget. Let's not lose hope. Let's just store it in our hearts. Thank you. Now that you have met Pilar and friends in this first episode of ours, we are showing you what is in store for the coming weeks. So friends, there you have it. That's what's in store in the weeks to come. For now, let's keep our hopes high, steadfast in prayers, and mindful of our daily tasks. Let's not lose it, but instead sustain it by the grace of God. This is Pilar saying, hope springs eternal. Don't lose it, hang on to it.